This lab will simulate the circular motion of a frictionless disc on a horizontal table with a force probe attached to the disc so that we can measure the amount of force tension that's holding the disc in circular motion. When you begin the program, you'll be given, you'll see your uh, disc, your uh, rope leading down to your force probe, and the size of the circle that will be happening on this table. Okay, you will be able to change the mass of the disc, and you could do this in either large increments or small increments. You can change the radius of the circle, or you could gener and you could generate random new speeds. So we're going to start out by looking at the effect of radius on force. So we click on our start button. Our force meter will uh, generate some values. And just like in real life, we'll get uh, a sampling of different values all right around the same thing. Students are then to make an educated guess as to the average force holding this disc in the circle. Students can then change the radius in either 50 centimeter increments or smaller. Okay, they could then collect new data and get the new value for the um, force needed to keep the object moving in a circle. Students again could change mass and collect the data. If we want to actually find out the speed of the object, we start the object moving in a circle, and then we use a timer, and at some given point, maybe at the highest point of the circle, when it's right along the y-axis, we'll start our timer. Then we'll count off 10 revolutions. And at the end of the 10th revolution, we want to stop our timer. And then we can use this time, along with the other parameters, to figure out the speed of the object moving in the circle. So there's lots of different ways this simulation could be used. We could find uh, force versus radius, force versus mass, or force versus speed. Okay. And uh, students, hopefully from this, will get a sense of the equations that govern the force on an object moving in a circular path.